This essay is a journey into the shadows of our digital world. We will explore the methods hackers use to clone SIM cards in 2025. The goal is to foster awareness and promote better security practices for everyone. The act of cloning a SIM card without authorization is a serious crime with severe legal consequences. Let's dive in. At its core, a SIM card is a tiny portable computer. It holds a unique key that identifies you to your mobile network. SIM cloning is the process of copying this secret handshake onto a blank writable SIM card. When a hacker successfully clones your SIM, they create a digital twin of your mobile identity. The mobile network cannot tell the difference between your legitimate SIM and the cloned one. This means the hacker can now effectively become you on the cellular network. They can make and receive your calls, send and intercept your text messages. A cloned SIM card is the digital equivalent of someone else having the keys to your house. The hacker can use this access for a variety of malicious purposes. In 2025, our phone number is the master key. It is used to reset passwords for our email, bank accounts, and social media profiles. The process of cloning essentially tricks the network. When two phones with the same SIM identity are active, the network can get confused. Often, the device that connects to the network last is the one that receives calls and messages. This means a hacker can strategically intercept critical communications, like a two-factor authentication code sent via SMS. You might notice a brief loss of service, but you would likely dismiss it as a minor network glitch. Meanwhile, the hacker is using that small window to empty your bank account or take over your online life. In the early days of mobile technology, SIM cloning required physical access to the target's SIM card. Hackers needed to get their hands on the actual plastic chip, even if only for a few minutes. They would use a specialized card reader to connect the SIM card to a computer. This reader, combined with specific software, could extract the IMSI and the CHI, the authentication key. Once extracted, these codes were written onto a new blank SIM card. The entire process could be completed in under 10 minutes if the attacker was skilled. This method had a major limitation, the need for physical access. A hacker had to either steal the phone or be a dishonest employee at a phone repair shop. This made mass scale attacks difficult and the risk of getting caught higher. While physical cloning is less common today, it is not obsolete. Modern SIM cards have better encryption, but vulnerabilities can still be found. The tools for physical extraction have evolved, making physical security of your devices crucial. Never let your phone out of your sight. The most dangerous form of SIM cloning in 2025 relies on human manipulation. This is called social engineering. Hackers attack the customer service representatives at your mobile carrier. They trick these employees into transferring your phone number to a SIM card that the hacker controls. This is known as a SIM swap or port out scam. The attack begins with reconnaissance. The hacker gathers personal information about you from social media, public records, and data breaches. Armed with this information, the hacker calls your mobile carrier's customer support line. They pretend to be you, claiming they lost their phone or that their SIM card was damaged. The customer service agent will ask security questions to verify their identity. The hacker confidently provides your personal details, convincing the agent. Once convinced, the agent deactivates your current SIM card and activates the new one in the hacker's possession. Your phone goes dead, and the hacker's phone comes to life with your number. They now receive all your calls and texts. The first thing they typically do is target your most valuable accounts. Your digital life is now theirs to control. While social engineering targets customer service from the outside, a more insidious threat comes from within the telecommunications companies themselves. This is known as the insider threat. A malicious employee with access to customer account systems can perform a SIM swap with just a few clicks. They don't need to trick anyone or answer security questions. These insiders are often recruited by criminal organizations. They might be low-level employees in a call center or a retail store. The process is chillingly simple. The insider accesses the customer's account in the carrier's internal system. They then use their authorized credentials to process a SIM change request. The entire operation can take less than a minute. Combating the insider threat is a massive challenge for mobile carriers. It requires rigorous background checks, strict access controls, and constant monitoring of employee activity. However, for every defense, criminals work to find a new way to circumvent it. Another sophisticated method involves a blend of phishing and malware. Instead of targeting the carrier, this attack targets the victim directly. The attack often starts with a deceptive text message or email that appears to be from the mobile carrier. The message might warn of a billing issue or claim there is a security alert on the account. It will contain a link, urging the victim to log into their account immediately. 
This link leads to a convincing fake, a phishing page designed to look like the legitimate login portal. The unsuspecting victim enters their username and password. This information is instantly captured by the hacker. With these credentials, the hacker can log in to the victim's real online account. Once inside, the hacker can report the current SIM as lost and request a new one. They can change the shipping address to one they control. A few days later, the new SIM card arrives, and the hacker can activate it. The victim remains unaware until their phone stops working. This method bypasses the need to speak with a customer service agent. It exploits the convenience that carriers have built for their customers. The moment a victim's phone loses service is just the beginning of the nightmare. The consequences of a successful SIM cloning or swap attack are swift and devastating. The primary goal for most attackers is financial gain. With control of your phone number, they can intercept two-factor authentication codes. They use this to reset passwords and gain access to your most sensitive accounts. They can drain accounts in minutes, transferring funds to anonymous accounts. Beyond the immediate financial loss, victims face the terrifying prospect of identity theft. The hacker now controls a key piece of your identity. They can use your phone number to open new lines of credit in your name. The victim is left to deal with the crippling financial and bureaucratic fallout. The personal and emotional toll is immense. Many victims report feeling a deep sense of violation and helplessness. The recovery process is arduous and frustrating. Even after regaining control, the fear lingers. The financial loss is just one part of the damage. The loss of peace of mind is often far more lasting. Protecting yourself from SIM cloning requires a multi-layered defense strategy. Contact your mobile carrier and add enhanced security to your account. Ask for a PIN or a password to be required for any changes to your account. This simple step creates a powerful barrier against social engineering attacks. Upgrade your authentication methods. Move away from using SMS-based two-factor authentication. Use application-based authenticators like Google Authenticator or Authy. For your most critical accounts, use a physical security key. Practice good digital hygiene and be vigilant against phishing. Be inherently suspicious of unsolicited emails or text messages. Use strong, unique passwords for every online account. A password manager is an essential tool for creating and storing complex passwords. Be mindful of the personal information you share online. Scrutinize your social media profiles and limit publicly available data. The less information a hacker can find about you, the harder it is for them to impersonate you. By limiting your public digital footprint, you make yourself a more difficult target. The battle for digital security is not a war that can be won, it is a game that must be continuously played. As we have seen, the methods used by hackers to clone SIM cards are constantly evolving. The threats of tomorrow will be different from the threats of today. Therefore, our most powerful weapon is a mindset of perpetual vigilance. Staying informed is your best defense. Make it a habit to read about the latest cybersecurity threats and trends. Follow reputable security researchers and news outlets. Share this knowledge with your friends, family, and colleagues. Many people are still unaware of threats like SIM swapping. By explaining the risks and sharing protection tips, you can help create a more secure community. Security is a collective responsibility. Ultimately, navigating the digital world requires skepticism and a proactive approach to security. Do not blindly trust unsolicited communications. The tools and strategies outlined here provide a strong foundation for your defense. Stay curious, stay informed, and stay safe.